Is it conceivable that one day humans might breathe Martian air? This isn't just a whimsical question, but a query that has driven human curiosity and scientific innovation for centuries. The red planet, our celestial neighbor, has long captured our collective imagination, presenting a riddle wrapped in the cosmic dust of the universe. Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun, has been a beacon of fascination, an enigma that has spurred age-old myths, inspired countless works of science fiction, and provoked rigorous scientific investigation. It has been the muse of astronomers, the playground of astrophysicists, and the dream of astronauts. Its crimson hue, visible even to the naked eye, has sparked wonder, speculation, and a ceaseless quest to understand what lies beyond our own planetary doorstep. In the grand tapestry of human history, the curiosity about Mars is not a recent phenomenon. Ancient civilizations, from the Egyptians to the Greeks to the Mayans, all recognized this distinct celestial body, attributing to it various mythologies and significance. Mars was not just another speck of light in the night sky, but a world unto itself, a silent observer of Earth's own journey through the cosmos. But our fascination with Mars is not just rooted in its ancient allure, it's also about the future, our future. The advancements in technology and space exploration have allowed us to reach out to Mars, not just with our telescopes, but with our spacecraft. We've sent probes and rovers, each mission revealing a little more about this enigmatic planet. We've analyzed its soil, studied its weather patterns, and even mapped its topography. What was once a distant, enigmatic world has become a tangible frontier, a potential new home for humanity. As we stand at the precipice of interplanetary exploration and colonization, the question is no longer if we can reach Mars, but how we can survive there. From the early days of space exploration, Mars has been a tantalizing goal. And as we delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe, that goal seems more achievable than ever. Our journey to the stars began with the launch of Sputnik 1. This small metal sphere, no larger than a beach ball, was the first artificial satellite to orbit our planet. Launched by the Soviet Union in October 1957, it marked the start of the Space Age, a new era of discovery and exploration. Sputnik 1 was more than a scientific triumph. It was a beacon, a signal to all of humanity that the sky was no longer the limit. Four years later, the Soviet Union would once again make history with the first human spaceflight. Yuri Gagarin, a young pilot, was selected from thousands of applicants to become the first man in space. On the 12th of April, 1961, he orbited Earth aboard Vostok 1. Gagarin's journey lasted just 108 minutes, but its impact was everlasting. He showed us that humans could survive in the harsh environment of space, paving the way for future explorers. But Earth's orbit was only the beginning. The next frontier was our neighboring planet, Mars. The first successful mission to Mars was not by a human, but by a spacecraft. NASA's Mariner 4, launched in November 1964, was the first to successfully fly by Mars and send back images. These grainy, black-and-white photos taken from over 6,000 miles away were our first glimpse of the Martian surface. They revealed a world both alien and familiar, with craters and valleys reminiscent of our own moon. Mariner 4's mission was more than just a photographic expedition. It was a scientific endeavor aimed at understanding the Martian atmosphere and its potential for life. This marked a critical juncture in our quest to explore the Red Planet. The data collected by Mariner 4, along with subsequent missions, led to a better understanding of Mars and its potential for human habitation. These early missions laid the groundwork for our current understanding of Mars and its potential for human habitation. And as we stand on the precipice of a new era, where humans aim to set foot on Mars, it's crucial to remember these pioneering steps that led us here. Fast forward to the 21st century, Mars exploration has entered a new era. A wave of innovative missions has swept the red planet, each one propelling us closer to our ultimate goal, setting foot on Martian soil. In the forefront of this exploration surge is NASA with their ambitious Mars rovers. 
these robotic explorers, like the famous Opportunity and Curiosity, have traversed the Martian landscapes for years, beaming back valuable data to Earth. They've unearthed evidence of ancient water flows and identified key chemical ingredients for life. They've even weathered Mars' harsh dust storms, proving that human-made objects can survive in this alien world. Not to be outdone, the European Space Agency launched Mars Express, a mission that has been orbiting Mars since 2003. This spacecraft has been instrumental in mapping the Martian surface in unprecedented detail. Its high-resolution stereo camera has revealed vast valleys, towering volcanoes, and even the polar ice caps. But perhaps its most significant discovery is the presence of water ice on Mars. This finding has not only confirmed that Mars once had a climate similar to Earth, but it also signifies a potential resource for future human settlers. Meanwhile, the United Arab Emirates has also joined the Martian race with its Hope Probe, marking the first interplanetary mission by an Arab nation. Launched in 2020, it aims to provide a complete picture of the Martian atmosphere and its layers. This data could be crucial in understanding how Mars lost its water and if it could ever support life again. These missions, each unique yet interconnected, have revolutionized our understanding of Mars. They have painted a vivid picture of a world not too dissimilar from our own, a world that might one day be our second home. They have shown us that Mars is more than just a red dot in the sky. It's a planet full of potential and mysteries waiting to be uncovered. These missions have brought us closer than ever to answering the question, can humans live on Mars? But one major hurdle stands in our way. How will humans breathe on Mars? This, my friends, is the oxygen problem. You see, Mars isn't quite like our home planet Earth. Its atmosphere is incredibly thin, about 100 times less dense than ours. And to add to the challenge, it's composed mostly of carbon dioxide, with oxygen making up a minuscule fraction of less than 1%. This is far from the 21% oxygen we're used to breathing on Earth. So how do we tackle this problem? How do we ensure that future Mars residents don't gasp for breath? Well, scientists are exploring several fascinating solutions. One potential solution is to extract oxygen from the very problem itself, the abundant carbon dioxide in the Martian atmosphere. This might sound like science fiction, but it's already being tested right here on Earth. A device known as MOXIE, or Mars Oxygen In-Situ Resource Utilization Experiment, has been designed specifically for this purpose. It uses a process called solid oxide electrolysis to break down carbon dioxide into oxygen and carbon monoxide. The oxygen can then be used for breathing and potentially for fueling rockets for the return journey to Earth. Another approach is the cultivation of oxygen-producing organisms such as cyanobacteria or algae. These microscopic life forms could be sent to Mars in bioreactors where they would use photosynthesis to convert the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere into breathable oxygen. Of course, these are just potential solutions. Much research and testing are still required before we can say with certainty that they'll work on Mars. But the fact that we're even contemplating these ideas is a testament to human ingenuity and our determination to conquer the final frontier. Solving the oxygen problem is a crucial step in our journey to make Mars our second home. And with the brilliant minds working on this challenge, we may be closer to achieving that dream than we think. The dream of a human colony on Mars is closer than you might think. A new chapter of space exploration is being written as we speak, with various space agencies and private companies gearing up for the next phase of Mars missions. Among those leading the charge is NASA, with its ambitious Artemis program. This program aims to return humans to the moon by the mid-2020s and use it as a stepping stone for future Mars missions the moon will serve as a testbed for the technologies needed to sustain a human presence on Mars, including the systems required to extract and utilize the resources available on Mars, such as water and oxygen. Parallelly, 
SpaceX, the private spaceflight company founded by Elon Musk, is developing its Starship spacecraft. This mammoth spaceship, designed for interplanetary travel, will be able to transport up to 100 people to Mars. One of the key challenges Starship aims to tackle is the creation of a self-sustaining environment on Mars. This includes the extraction and production of oxygen from the Martian atmosphere, a critical step towards making Mars habitable for humans. These missions are not just about conquering a new frontier. They are about finding solutions to one of the biggest challenges of Mars colonization, the oxygen problem. They will test technologies that could potentially transform the thin and unbreathable Martian atmosphere into something more hospitable for human life. As we delve deeper into the 21st century, the dream of a human colony on Mars is inching closer to reality. Each mission, each experiment, and each discovery is a stepping stone towards this goal. The journey to Mars is a testament to human ingenuity and determination. As we stand on the precipice of this new era, we must ask ourselves, are we ready to become a multi-planetary species?